If you listen carefully, you can hear the sound of NYU undergraduates graduating outside, yelling outside because they're graduating and they're celebrating. Let's. Okay, it was a, it was a one time thing. Okay, here's what we're gonna talk about tonight. I have two things. Thing number one is I'm gonna talk about my own perspective about something, and then thing number two, I'm gonna talk about like my perspective as a person who works with young people as a teacher. Um, but I just I didn't tell you what the topic was. Here's the topic. Uh, Re real life. When does real life start? Is it after graduation? Is it before graduation? Is it after? Is it before? Where? When? When does the real life start? So, I'm in a transition right now, which is I am teaching, and I'm about to start. Uh, I'm about to start doing like teaching and graduate work at the same time, and so I'm I'm feeling now like wow, like man, once I really can nail. You hear it? Yeah, okay, sorry. Once I'm on the other side of this barrier, that's when my real life is gonna start. And um, I've been feeling that way for months, but now that I'm walking around campus and I'm watching all these undergraduates like in their robes and everything, I'm just laughing at myself incessantly because that's exactly how I felt this in the months leading up to my graduation i thought wow like if i just could graduate here's you know professional but like oh well, man now that i'm in college college life on the other side of graduation is real life and now that i'm here i've drawn another barrier for myself and on the other side of that barrier is real life like a realer life so the reason that i'm laughing at myself is because when is this going to end like once I get, if I get a PhD or something, like, then will it be real life? Or if I, you know, after then, I'll, I'm sure I'll have to get married. Uh, and then, then I'll have to, like, publish a bunch of books while being married and having kids and, like, balancing. I'll always be drawing, like, further and further barriers. So uh, that's the first part of the video. I'm laughing at myself because like, when am I going to figure out that I'm already there? Like, I've already been, I'm in real life. Um, and just as it's not any more real on the other side of these, like, other barriers in the future of my life it was real back then and the struggles and and joys the back then were, were real and i'm really hoping that i can see that and so this video is is a is a me expressing like i hope that i can become capable of self-reflectively seeing the good in the things that i do right now and not waiting for for like the realer future to happen um but the second thing that I want to say, and this is like a risk for me because I don't want to bring like teacher voice onto YouTube, but I'm going to go for it anyway for this particular video. Take the lens of focus and just like swing it around. Rather than looking at like future you and laughing, I want you actually to like just look back for a minute. Um, when I first started teaching, there were veteran teachers who would celebrate what looked to me like really silly things to be celebrating like oh wow like you added those negative numbers together properly good job and then the kid would be like oh great yeah that's and i'm sitting here going like who can't add negative numbers together like come on like get your life together kid but that attitude of like the barrier that you've crossed isn't as important because there are other barriers that you should be crossing later that are more important like that attitude is ridiculous and i have that attitude in me and i know so many smart people or like accomplished people who just sneer at someone crossing a barrier that isn't as big or important or as real as whatever barrier they happen to be crossing and i'm mad about it because i do it all the time and it makes me mad when other people do it and i want to stop and i'm making this video because dang it like if you are like me and you see a barrier that somebody else is crossing and it's not as big as you, the barrier that you're crossing like god like just learn some empathy and like learn to see that what that person is going through whether they're nine years old or 25 years old i hope that as a like a group of people um we can s learn to see more like the joys of other people um and but but it probably like if it's anything it probably is going to have to start like with seeing the joys and the things that we do and the reason that i got the empire state behind me right now is not only because it's like blue and cool and like whatever but like new york is such a city of 
one-upping the other and that you can't see it right now but there's this other tower that's being built that's like taller and it's like oh my tower my tower is bigger than your tower i'm so done with it like yes it's a good thing to be constantly pushing yourself and fighting the next thing and like but um i really i really hope that we can find a way to like celebrate the joys in the, in the world around us because um it's ultimately doing that that we're going to see the reality of the moment directly in front of us um and i think that's an awesome concept that all of us should be working towards um anyway have a great night thanks if you're new to the channel uh hit like hit subscribe uh more videos are coming um maybe the empire state building will be read next time all right thanks have a good night